everybody, welcome back to Anderton's TV. And you may recognize these two people from a video that we shot back in April. This is Yano and Daniel, and they're from the DSM Humboldt guys in Chile. In fact, they are DSM Humboldt from Chile. <laughs> um, and uh, in the video we did previously, we uh, were looking at the Simplify and the Simplify Deluxe and the um, Silver Lining Drive, having lots of fun with that. Um, and one of the products that we weren't able to show you at the time, this feels weird because I'm feeling like I'm talking like we're in June, but really we're still in April. Um, they really wanted to show you uh, a new compressor pedal called the Clear Comp, which uh, these guys have designed, uh, but it wasn't released or it's not going to be released until June. So we've had to keep this a bit of a secret. But Jano, do you want to tell us a little bit about the, uh, the Clear Comp and what you were trying to design around, you know, how you're trying to make this maybe a little bit different to some of the other compressors that you might buy? Oh, yes. First of all, thanks for seeing us again. <laughs> <laughs> yes, much. it feels like they're not really back. They never left. This is still <laughs> the same day as last time. <laughs> well, uh, what we tried to achieve with the clear comp was uh, have the um, very uh, useful compression that you can uh, always, as always in our products, uh, you have versatility and it's pretty useful, but it's really clear. So you, you won't notice anything in terms of sound and, and your tone when you turn on, mm -hmm. as, as least you want it, you yeah. know? Uh, but we try to achieve a really, really, really low noise. Uh, we, we took a lot, a lot of time yeah, we took trying to time achieve for this. And remind the, this old fashioned compre compressors, you know, the studio compressors, but, uh, but uh, really keen to, the, to a pedal, a guitar or bass pedal have to do in terms of practical and usefulness. And it's good. That's right. Yeah, <laughs> that's <sounds> right. great. <laughs> what do you want to, yeah. so, I mean, Daniel, you got the guitar. Um, yeah. And you're going to do a little bit of the, the, the playing whilst you demonstrate. And we've got a clear comp in our chain. So we're going guitar into the clear comp and then we're going into the silver linings and the simplified deluxe and then into our desk. And we've also got a guitar amp, regular guitar amp plugged in, which we'll demonstrate separately. But m most of this demo you're going to hear uh, through the simplified deluxe. But mm. I think if you could, whilst you're explaining perhaps some of the technical <laughs> side behind this, for non-studio people like myself, explain things like ratio and threshold and some of the terminology maybe that a, like a regular guitar player might not be familiar with. You know, what, what, it, what are the controls on a compressor and what's it sort of technically doing? Yes, the, clean, the clear comp has the usual professional compressors uh, controls. One is the compression level that uh, controls the input level into the compression. Mm -hmm. So um, it kicks in the compression earlier or more pronounced as you turn it up. Uh, the ratio is the amount of gain you are reducing once mm -hmm. you are um, compressing. So if you have the ratio on really high levels, you are limiting it. It's a ceiling where well the the gain is cut off like it sounds really like in a box mm -hmm. the sound is in a in a dynamic box uh the attack it's the time it takes for the compressor to react to your picking you see mm -hmm. for fun for funky sounds you want a, a fast attack this have that spanky mm -hmm. like yeah. clipping sound and with with a slower attack, you have more natural feel. It starts to compress later, so Maybe. you have the attack to still the, the mm -hmm. your natural attack, but the sounds stay stay sustained for longer. Uh, the release is the time that you are compressing. How much? How long you are compressing? You know, how long you want to keep the the sound? the gain being reduced so you have a a quick release you it's you will have a very quick uh pop, poppy sound <laughs> yeah <laughs> you will have a quick release <laughs> you know it compresses and leaves it compresses and leaves so if you have a really slow release 
you will have like this, like TV show compression, right? Like when you talk and it comes on slowly. I put more, more compression so it shows. So it's like a breathing effect. Yeah. Yeah. Like, so it, I mean, I kind of feel like there are two popular uses of mm -hmm. compression when you're playing the guitar. W one is to, to have that sort of funk style. Yeah, um, yeah. like Corey Wong. Yeah, like a Corey <laughs> Wong kind of vibe. And the other is perhaps to use to, to create the effect of sustain within like a, a boosted guitar solo or something like that. So what would your what would the two kind of different settings be for that? those types of sounds. Yeah, if you want it for a, a funky uh, kind of sound, you, you want a fast release and a fast attack and quite compressed. Yeah, quite compressed. Quite compressed, you know, squashed. So oh, then about the oh, threshold. Oh, about the threshold. I forgot about the threshold, yeah. thank you, sir. So <laughs> we, we have uh, three levels of threshold. The threshold is the level and what the and what the compression kicks in. Mm -hmm. So if you have, we have three levels of threshold because different guitars and instruments have different output levels. So you have to adjust the threshold to the to the your instrument. Mm -hmm. For and, and I have it in the mid, mid position position because this guitar is not a super hot, but it's a normal guitar mm -hmm. in terms of gain. It's a fantastic guitar. Yes, actually. I meant in terms of I know output. what you mean, but it's like its yeah. output is kind of it's not too hot, not too not weak. Not too hot, exactly. not too weak. Small yeah. balance. Yeah, and, and the, the low setting is when you have a weak output guitar, like vintage pickups. Mm -hmm. um, or to compress a bass of, with yeah. an active bass. Or if you want to really compress the sound. Yeah, so you because use the, the threshold so, is down. So the lower the, the threshold setting, the more the compression. The more the compression. Right, I see. The more the compression. You, you, need, you need less input to start compressing. So, uh, for example, if I put it on the low, I will be really squashed. No dynamics are, yeah. at all. So you set it on the mid. Some dynamics are it's a little bit more back, yeah. back in the yeah. because we wanted a compressor that it will respect your dynamics. Mm -hmm. you know, that, that's the whole point of the threshold settings. And and I was thinking about the funky setting. That was mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Going back to that, you need a faster attack and faster release, so you have that that fast popping sound. <laughs> So you want that to be your your instrument becomes more of a, a rhythmic yes. part of the music. Yeah, more percussive. Yeah, of course. Mm -hmm. We also included a blend control. So if you at some point uh, don't feel so comfortable with the with the compression you are getting, you can simply blend with your clean signal mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and have a more natural response yeah. between this compressor signal and and it's more like a parallel compression. You know, they used to name it. I, I notice yeah. on here you you you've put ten. 78, I think. Is that a 6 or an 8? Looks like an 8. It's, it's a 78. <laughs> it's a 78. <laughs> I was going to say, I'm yeah. uh, obviously a nod towards a sort of a famous it's studio a compressor. Mm, no. Uh, no? Actually, no. No? Okay. Actually, no. no uh, it's something more. Uh, I think it's the, the first thing I, I do just for marketing. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. I just want something that uh, that any people, any guitarist could uh, uh, as a remember of something vintage, you mm -hmm. know, because we take the inspiration of old fashioned compressor like the eleven seventy eight B, but on a concept. We yeah. we 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 don't clone that. Right. Uh, you have another options for doing that, but we try to to bring this from the ten seventy three that it's actually a preamp. That's yeah. the the reason because we put this. This, this sort of knob because we want something that, that adds a little bit boosting but a, a more refined compression, mm -hmm. you know. There's, there's a learning curve 
about this, but uh, we think it's not too complex to to understand. Uh, mean. No, and it will sound good on any setting anyway. <laughs> yeah. But what what the the light that's coming up um, in the little sort of the yellow and green kind of coloured light yeah. is that a is that almost like a part of the compression circuit or is that just a visual indicator or yeah it's a visual indicator for the envelope that is resulting mm -hmm. you know yeah. the the higher compression you you are getting you're getting like a a flatter envelope mm -hmm. so the lay the light stays up more more time mm -hmm. and also uh how's your envelope uh resulting yeah. in a visual way like it's not a. Uh, it does not indicate the the gain reduction. The gain reduction. Okay. Yeah, as, yeah. as mostly of compressor does. So uh, most compressors show the gain reduction. We are showing the the envelope var variation. You know. So if you were going to use this then as uh, some sort of sense of a solo boost, you Ooh. know, uh, could Ooh. we get some gain from from the, the simplifier or from no. the silver lining and then. Could Let me say it. Use the. Uh, <laughs> he's excited That's, now. Ah, he's excited because this is the. Sounds uh, so good. Probably it, it's something we 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 weren't able to explain in a video because something you really feel in your fingers. Yeah, yeah. it's it's more related to that. We we name it clear come because of this. You you're not uh, you're not destroying your tone, adding a compression, but you are adding something that you can feel in your fingers. It's it's like it's like you you take off the the brake in your car. Yeah. yeah. The thing is, like it feels like this. you're playing a high gain amp, mm -hmm. yes, but with yes. a cleaner tone. Okay. So. If I turn down the compressor, you won't get. Mm -hmm. And it gets twangier. I always it's think with, with compression, it's never mm -hmm. been a pedal that um, I've had on my board as in a lot over the, the whole time I've played guitar. Mm. Um, and I think a lot of it was because probably, you know, when I was learning to play guitar, the, the pedal that you would buy as a compressor pedal would just be the Boss CS3. And all it ever mm -hmm. seemed to do was just add loads of noise to the guitar Absolutely. circuit and didn't do much. And I probably, but I think in more recently, I kind of, I mean, without a doubt, you, you, you listen to players like Corey Wong and you know, Pete as well, when they, they play that sort of funk style and you, you almost go, it would be very difficult to get that tone without a compressor, you know, it's mm -hmm. almost. But I, I, still, I still kind of find myself when I, if I'm using the compressor on, on my board and I've got the little Wampler Mini mm -hmm. Ego, I think, on Ego, my board. Yeah. And I still... It's very much a mood, a, like a mood feel thing for me. Sometimes I'll switch it on and go, yeah, mm. I'm, I I'm happier today with it on. And then like literally the next time I'll be playing, I'll go, I don't know if it's taken some of the dynamics away. And so I kind of, mm. so I, I, it's a funny one for me with compressor pedals because I, I, it's not like a chorus pedal where it's just like, oh, well, there's an obvious, I want hey, the I modulation. So I just turn it on and boom, there's the modulation. And sometimes it's appropriate and sometimes it's not. I almost feel like a, a compressor for me is like, I don't know. It's, it's it's almost like a what mood are you in? What do you want to you know? What do you how do you want the guitar to feel when you're playing it? Do you want it to feel very open and full of dynamics, or do you want to feel it more controlled? And um, but yeah, it's 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 definitely another. We talked a lot in the in the last video about how your products are a feel mm. thing, you know, as it's much a, as they are. An it's audio a feel thing, thing with the compressor. It's I have never used a compressor uh, in thirty years of playing guitar. Mm -hmm. And all the developing this, I became addicted. Mm. Like I, I now I'm, I have always the clear comp on on my board, yeah, because it, it feels so good and in, in, in on the fingers. Yeah. And and since it's so low noise, it's it's yeah really well suited for boosting an overdrive. So it's a great shout mm. that because I, mean, mm. I mentioned before that, mm. you know, again, I, my um, 
earliest experiences of using compressors weren't studio compressors or anything like that. It was just a, a battery operated yeah. boss. Yeah. 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 Two or whatever it was at the time. And it was, if you had gain, you know, if your next pedal in the chain was a, was a distortion pedal or you had gain mm. in your amplifier, it was just just a load of buzz, like an like excessive amount of background noise. But mm. this is, just switch it's it on and off. Really just the, quiet. And well, we, we are There's like nothing, volume. is there? Yeah. Mm. We, we will, I will add more gain. Mm -hmm. That's this a floor is a noise. Floor noise, mm -hmm. you know. It's pretty Just marginal. A isn't little it? tiny. And bit. we are compressing mm. a lot, so we are, we have a good mm -hmm. amount of ratio. We have a good amount of compression, and we have the blend. Can I can I take the lead? Can I just yes, plug this yes, in yes. and just let me see? Because I, I, I it is definitely a, a feel. I'm just interested in that sort of, you know. I, yeah. I really enjoyed the, Enjoy the, the previous video that we the, did. The thing um, I want to add is technically most most <laughs> compressors um, are noisy because they need to reduce the the level before entering the gain cell mm -hmm. you know they have because most if not all gain cells have a very limited di dynamic range when they work mm -hmm. i managed to solve that problem <laughs> in my own way good for you <laughs> We don't have compression yes, right now. Take it off again. Just... It's really weird because I, I don't, I don't necessarily know if I like it more or less. Yeah. <laughs> with or without, it's 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 a mood and a vibe and a feel thing for me. You know, it's not. You know, like when you 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 put a good overdrive pedal on, and it's like, oh yeah, I like it better with it or. <laughs> this this I, yeah. I can't sort of you know because it, it just changes the whole vibe of playing guitar by um, removing some yes. of those dynamics yeah you, when you don't want you don't want dynamics it's, uh, it's better to have a compressor if you do fast runs and shredding stuff it's Got better to have a player for that compressor. Here, but. <laughs> some parallel compression for you maybe yeah. you will like it a little more so this is parallel compression. So. Yeah, we you no, so. blending. It's, it's, it's like not the parallel people name. <laughs> the people name parallel compression when you blend the clean signal with the compressed signal. So we've got hot, like fifty percent non-compressed, fifty percent. It does feel fatter and fuller fatter. with the compression. Mm -hmm. Can I can I get the orange guitar? Of course. I kind of feel like I want the, the humbucker and sorry about that, John. I'm going for Nick's guitar over <laughs> your guitar. Apologies. Um... It's really odd as well because I, I mean I'm not a recording guitar player. Mm -hmm. um, and so I don't think I fully appreciate maybe the importance in a recording to have the consistency of of level maybe. So I can understand maybe again as a re for a recording guitar player, you know, having a good compressor as part of your signal so that you've got a nice kind of fat balanced kind of uh, track to put down. <laughs> It is. It's tighter, isn't it? And and yeah. and I get. Do you know? It's. A, it, I, I, you said. But you said. I think at the beginning be, that try you, it without the overdrive. Okay. It's a huge difference. Like if, if you if you uh, hit hard the chords. So that's more like a, almost like a limiter type. Yeah. Effect. We had it at that compressing point. really. Yeah. I like it. 
And turn it off again because I, I yeah. still kind of that's the yeah it's, it's harder to to maintain the 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 level it almost yeah. makes it easier to play with the compressor it's, doesn't that's it? the rather, thing. Than, rather than uh yeah it's a, it is a i mean i'm sure most guitar players out there at some point or other will have used a, a compressor pedal or they'll have had a multi-effects board with compressor on it so you probably get the rough idea but there there are lots of different quality levels of compressor and i guess you know mm -hmm. with this you're going in at the higher end have you got a price on this yet or as in a rough uh, idea of what the price yeah, might be yeah 289 dollars okay cool price. so it's obviously going to appeal to the sort of the the, the the guy with some slightly nicer pedals on his board mm -hmm. um but it's, i mean look sounds cool i think what we'll do is at some point or other, it feels to me like there's a compressor shootout video going to happen on Anderson's TV oh, where we'll yes, get this and um, maybe three or four of the other kind of, you know, uh, well, you know, known and popular compressors. But I like it. It's... I think, I, I think the, 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 the main thing that you will notice is that most guitar compressors are actually limiters. Yeah. They have a lot of gain on top. That's where it's noisier, noisier. And the reduction is really... It's quite not noticeable mm -hmm. so you can play like you know like honky tonk and country, country lines yeah, with a telecaster and yeah. so <laughs> well look in uh i will put links uh in mm -hmm. the description below to where you can find out more about this pedal i expect by the time this is released there'll be one or two more videos on the uh, dsm humboldt website as well but mm -hmm. i think for now we'll uh, we'll invite uh, Mr. Honore uh, back in to, to play us out uh, with something. Um, but yes, lovely to yeah. see you two guys again, even though yeah. I'm just seeing you for the same time the first time around. Um, <laughs> thank you all for watching, um, and we shall see you next time. Au revoir. See ya. I just say goodbye in Chilean. Ciao. 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 <laughs> I knew that. Ciao.